It's my pleasure to welcome Dr. Winston Wachini. He's a renowned Cree entertainer and respected elder. Mr. W Dr. Watney's songs carry strong message of cultural pride to help his people through difficult situations such as suicide, lost identity, drug and alcohol abuse. He also has beautiful songs that I used to play for my children when they were growing up. Storytelling is his method of reaching out and sharing traditional knowledge and the Cree language. Dr. Watney is the proud recipient of the 2013 Inspire Award for Culture, Heritage, and Sp Spirituality. He received an honorary doctor from the University of Manitoba in 2019. Dr. Watney is originally from Eagle Hills, Saskatchewan, and he has been a guest to our events over the years, bringing wonderful messages, powerful stories, and it's my pleasure to introduce to you Winston Watney, welcome. Hi, hi. That way it seems. It is so nice to see you, and you're looking so good. And thank you for the beautiful introduction. The first song that I'm going to sing is about was written by an old grandmother up in Timmins, Ontario, and she wrote me a letter, and she said, Winston, she said, uh, my children do not speak Cree. They can't even understand a word. Maybe they speak two or three words. Do you think you can help them? And I would like to, uh, I would like you to write a song about them. She said you can maybe sing this song, or just stay right on this song. So I, I listened to that song. I let my band hear, and the bass guitar player came up with a good uh, melody and a good rhythm and good, good song. You put something good to it. Here it is. Then it says. Uh, hey ya, hey ya, no, hey ya. Hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, hey, ah, hey, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, hey, ah, 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 hey, song and thanks to my bass guitar player Richard Dennis Chuck he made that bass line in there and just figured it out really good now here's another song this one is called Musin G Musin G Tawemana Musin G Tinaniwasin Musin G it's a very good song and it talks about all the people that are on the streets and how they're feeling and so I wrote that song for them Masinji, 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 hey, 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 h
song i love singing that song because i always try there's some in winnipeg here when we somebody asks for money to help somebody we all put in money and one night uh joe uh, billy joe green he saw a guy sneaking around his house and he went around and caught him at night and he said what are you doing he said i'm just looking for a warm place to sleep he said don't you have a coat no i just got this he said you got no, no other coat no anyway he put it online immediately I think within that night he had about $3,500. So they bought a whole bunch of sleeping bags and coats and mitts and gloves and socks and long johns and everything like that. And they, they put those out all over the place. So if you need help, we are here. We are available. We still know how to share. Because long time ago, when we lived here on this earth, we used to share all the time. That's how we lived. We shared. And so today we still have that. We still share. Now... For all you young women with babies, we have a nice song here for you, okay? This was written by Edmund Bull. It is a beautiful song. All the songs that Edmund Bull writes, they're quickly used all over Canada because he's very well known as a good songwriter. Raw. Rock up by my little baby Way up high up in the treetop You can feel the breeze Blowing through the tree Sleep baby sleep Way up high up 
Thank you, Edmund Bull. You always write such beautiful music. And you know, right now there's movement going on in the Indian community. We want to be better ancestors. Today, we have to start working on being better ancestors. In other words, that means doing all the good things that our grandparents used to do. Sharing, caring, visiting, eating with people, our own people, giving them presents, giving, just looking out in a good way for all our people. So here I want to give you this little piece of uh, wisdom that was given to me. If your father is doing well, you will do well. If your grandfather is doing well, you will do well. When you're a man, if, you're, if your mother is doing well, you will do well. If your grandmother is doing well, you will do well. So what that brings me to is this. My father was a hard worker. He always made money to support the family. It went nisamina. I work very hard nista. And I always make money to support my family. And so I was talking to Edmund Bull the other day. And I asked him, Edmund, I said, who, do you know who wrote that song, uh, Waniska? Yeah, he said, Nimushum. He said, my grandfather wrote that. Edmund, I said, that's why you're such a good singer. Your grandfather wrote that song. And he said, yes. So now Robert Wallet is uh, now started up the Blue Quilts College. It is now a university. And so we talked. And I said, you know what? I said, it's about time that we had degrees in Indian music. And he said, yes. He said, I agree with you. I said, I am going to present Edmund Bull as one of the native singers that should have a degree in Indian music. Nehyo Muchigan. In Nehyo music. And Edmund is just the perfect fit. I know that one other lady in the West, Dr. Uh, Darlene Auger, she got her doctorate in Wipinasun, in the swinging of the baby, the baby crib, and the baby, not the crib, but the baby, the baby, the, the bag, Wipinasun. 
and uh, and she got that, and she presented all the material at a university, and they actually gave her a degree for that because she had everything all right in there, like what she did. And Val Napoleon at the University of Victoria, she's done some really good work too, and she teaches uh, native language there, and she also has a degree for uh, work in native languages and customs and stuff like that. So you know what? We can just do whatever we want. I never ever thought I would be a doctor of letters, but here I am, a doctor of letters. And it was just given to me a couple of years ago, and I felt so proud. So when my daughter, Rachel, when she got her master's, I was down there in Vancouver in my cap and gown, and I gave her a little congratulations speech. And everybody afterwards, afterwards, who was that man, that white haired man? She said, that's my father. Dr. Winston Watney. Now, I know that I have friends all over Canada, and I hope some of them are watching because they know me as a comedian, most of the time as a comedian and as a singer. But that's one time I want them to know if you just be yourself, good things will happen to you. And I know that many of you have already experienced that. Now, uh, <clears throat> Joy just said, she, she used to listen to me sing songs. And one of those songs went like this called Daddy's Not My Friend. Because my little boy, Stefan, he was mad at me one time because I wouldn't go outside and play with him. And he said, Daddy, how come you won't come out inside and play with me? Son, I said, I've got a big show tonight on CBC and it's from Quebec. There's a song written by Gilles Vigneault. I am going to be singing that and I've got to practice it. The guitar work is very hard. It's a beautiful song and it's all about us, an Indian that fell in love with a white girl down. And, and then the parents, they sent her to a convent and he was so sad, he went and he fell in the river on purpose. And to this day, there's black spots on the birch tree. That's what he talked about in that song. And I sang that song on CBC and Gilles knew he was there singing too on the same program. And when I sang his song, his song he said, Oi, Winston, I speak French too, eh? And uh, so I said, thank you. Thank you, Jill. That's a real compliment. So anyway, this little song here, it's sung Joy. And so thousands of women like Joy with thousands of children like hers, they all know this song. And it's very simple. Anyway, that night when it was getting late, I did write this song and I wrote it for Stefan and Eric. And it said, Daddy's not my friend, yeah, 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 yeah. I like mommy better, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just a cute little song. Daddy, won't you let me sing my song? Daddy, won't you let me play guitar? Daddy, won't you let me play guitar? Daddy's not my friend, yeah, 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 yeah. I like mommy better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Daddy, would you let me sing my song? I just want to breeze up the street. Hee-haw, 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 hee-haw. Hee -haw. If you let me play guitar, I'll be your second voice. I'll sing up high and I'll sing down low in song. We could rejoice. Let me play guitar, Daddy. Won't you let me sing my song? Daddy, won't you let me play guitar? Daddy's not my friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like mommy better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Daddy, won't you let me sing my song? I just want to breeze up the street. Hee haw, hee haw, hee haw, hee haw, hee haw. Hee -haw, hee -haw. If you let me sing my song, I'll sing along with you. I'll sing all over this whole world. I will be so true. Daddy, won't you let me sing my song? Daddy, won't you let me play guitar? Daddy, won't you let me play guitar? Daddy's not my friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like mommy better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Daddy, don't look so worried. You won't go. I guess I like you too. Daddy, won't you let me sing my song? I just want to grease up the string. Hee-haw, 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 hee-ha
And that's a little song that Joy was talking about. And so I wrote lots of those little kind of songs, lots of those funny little songs. But here's one that all the old people know this song. And maybe some of the young people do too. I wish I had a fiddle here. I played the fiddle while somebody played my guitar. But we're leaving right after, so I didn't have time to call anybody. Here it is, here. Keys spin, kasage hin, se ma ka wik che win. Keys spin, kasage hin, se ma ko tsi min. Ha ha ha, mu chi kan, ke don pe to te tak. Ke we tag na si wa kan, na da ko se na ma e ko. Na pe se se wa pa me, is kwe se sa e o chi me. O te na ke we to te ya, ka mu chi ki ta na. Ha ha ha, mu chi kan, ke don pe. That means it's been a long time since I've loved you. So why don't you come and sit over here and give me a little Utsimen. Anyway, that song is known all across Canada, but I think by every tribe they, they sing some version of that. Kispin Kisagi Hitin. It means it's been a long time since I love you. Now, here is another song that is written by uh, Victoria Francis from um, Oh, I'll sing you this song because a lot of you know this song. Then is to sin, then is to sin, Kono, Kono, the key on, then is to sin, Wahaya, Haya, Haya, Wahaya, Haya, Haya, the wicked one can suit away, the wicked one can suit away, the wicked one, Wahaya, Haya. Five minutes, but I'm just going to sneak this in, okay? When my old lady's a bingo maniac, she plays bingo every night. While I stay home and babysit and try not to get up tight. When the bingo gals pull round to the door, we all get left behind. And bingo drives me crazy and it leaves me kind of lazy and it's driving me right out of my mind. Come on, you gal. Bingo, guys. Pull on your suits and drive your crazy cars. Cause everyone gonna win tonight. Yes, everyone's a winner. Till some bugger hollers bingo, then you have to play a game tomorrow night. Yeah, everyone's a winner. Till some bugger hollers bingo, then you have to play a game tomorrow night. So I just had time to do the verse, first verse. But that's how it goes. So I've got 20 minutes. So thank you very much for listening to me. Kisa Agitin Kakiao Aoyagi Ekotamana. Oh, Tabwesa. Bye bye.